I thought we could have like a chit chat just talking about what our year has been like and what we're thinking of um, 2016 and yeah so I'm all dressed up ready for a New Year's Eve party at my friends and we're leaving in about an hour to go yeah. so yeah um, all ready then so this is Ashton my boyfriend if you don't Hi. already know and yeah like how have you found 2015 it's been a bit of a crazy one for uh, us a bit of a big change yeah that I and I moved to miles away to Liverpool to go to uni that's that's been the biggest thing of my year yeah it has it has definitely um I've had a bit of a crazy year I got a job and it was shit so left there was unemployed for like three months and then got a really good job and then yeah I got promoted there and went off to do my hairdressing career and everything so it's been really good and um, just loads of shit has happened like you moving to Liverpool, oh, countless hair colours, every time I do a video I've got a new hairstyle, I'm obviously now it's all short and, <laughs> and yeah we went to Tenerife, it was really good. Oh that was good. Yeah it was nice a really holiday. good year. I mean very lots of ups and downs and everything, um, just loads really but Generally, it's been crazy. It's been a weird year, but I'd say it's been good. I would say it's been, yeah, it's been weird. More, more good than bad. Yeah, there's been a lot of bad, but a lot of good as well. Um, I think we're stronger now. Yeah. Since you've come back, I think we've been stronger. Um, obviously, our long distance is pretty much. I live down near Reading, and he lives in Liverpool, so a good 200 Great miles. miles. So. It's not like we, it's popping distance. Um, we obviously do see each other probably like once every three weeks. So that's made obviously been a bit more trickier. But I think it's made us stronger. We could have really broken up for it during that point and we haven't. So that's tough. really good. It was tough. Hey! It's not going to be tough for you. <laughs> probably was. Anyway. It was tough for both of us, but we, we got through it. We got another four years to go, love. Yeah. Good four years to go. The first part was the hardest. I ordered a beautiful new planner, so I'm hoping to get all my goals and everything sorted out in there and write it all down and it will be beautiful. Um, I will have an unboxing of that and a mini review and everything um, because it's beautiful. But it will be here in mid-January, so I know it's a bit out of season already and most people are looking for diaries now, but I will do one anyway. I just want it to be here now, it's but it's nice American. Planner, That's the worst thing. And all the good stuff is American. Not all the good stuff. Well, all the stuff that we want is in America, so we have to make, wait for it True, to come to us. But I'm a big believer in Britain. Like, we have better chocolate here by far. I've never been to yeah. America, but people that have said we do. Um, anyway, enough of talking about America. Maybe we can go to America in 2016. Yeah, maybe we can go to Africa in 2016. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, hopefully. One day. One day. I don't think it will be this year, but anyway. So I want to do that. Um, got all that sort of help. I want to be more on top of my YouTube videos and everything, because that would be amazing. I'll probably have more sit-down ones like this, and probably like chatting about hair and also like that, because... I feel like I need to get set up straight. You do. Maybe you need to work on your posture. That could be my New Year's resolution. Maybe you could. <laughs> um, I think 2016 will be a big year for us. Um, my sister's getting married and that's obviously huge. So that will be amazing. Um, I think that's the biggest plan so far for 2016. Um, what else is there really? We're both turning 20. Yeah. That's going to be crazy. I'm going to be going out I'm with a teenager when I'm an adult. Well, a 20 year old. I'm gonna be old. I feel old. I feel old. Oh, well, I'm around the cat is. But I feel old. <laughs> yeah, um, you can get away with it. Definitely. I hope there's more adventures. Um, we come overcome loads of more things. Um, just, you know, there's always Maybe. things to work towards. And I think any time of the year you can do that. Um, I think, personally, in the last year, when I look back at photos, I don't feel like it's me. Like, I couldn't be myself in them just because of what people were like. Um, sort of things like 
I just felt like I couldn't be myself when now I can because the people I have in my life let me be myself and love me for that. So I think there's always ways to move forward and I'm glad that this year I have, even though it has been rocky and there was a lot of downsides and a lot of sad things going on. But why do I let you on my YouTube videos? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I hope it's full of more things like cats and maybe cute stuff. I was going to say earlier, um, we could do more Comic Cons, but not just London, maybe Liverpool, maybe Manchester. Yeah, because I'm thinking of putting one in Liverpool, I think. So obviously that would be nice. Yeah. We could do that. We could always maybe. do that. Because I'm getting a bit it's bored a of London now. It's an idea, actually. It's not a plan. More alpacas. Yeah. We always need more alpacas and more pink. Like, seriously, look at me. I'm all themed in purple and pinks. My hair literally matches you're, the colour yeah. of my dress. You're very pastel. So, yeah, I hope you all had a good Christmas and have a brilliant New Year's Eve. And, yeah, we will see you in 2016. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you, kitties.